how to create your Google My Business website for free. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your website using Google My Business websites and link it to your business. So if you are a small business and you just want to get started, you just want a basic website to link to your store or your Google business listing, then this is a great option for you. So what you're going to do is you're just going to hop on to business.google.com and this is probably going to be your business dashboard. So whatever business you have over here, I have Jane the Caterer today. <laughs> I'm Caterer today, guys. So below that, if you scroll down, you're going to see website. So you're going to click on that and you are just going to get started. So the best part about this is that you're not going to have to pay any kind of fees. You're not going to have to pay for your domain name and you're not going to have to pay for your hosting. So that's very important, especially if you're a small business and you don't have the spare cash to help, you know, to dish out on, you know, those premium web developers or website builders and pay their annual fees. No, you're just going to use the free version that Google Business is going to provide you. Now, over here, first, Google is going to give you like a basic site that has like a general kind of uh, look based on the information that you provide. So whatever information that you previously provided to Google while setting up your business account, that's going to be presented over here. Now you can see on the left, you have your themes, you have your edit, you have your photos, where you're going to add your photos, and then you have more settings, so more customization. Now, first off, you're just going to select a theme that you like and that fits your business. So I'm doing catering. I probably want to go with something that's gold or red. And that doesn't look too childish. So this looks good. I'm just going to select it. I'm just going to take a look at how it looks. And I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to click on edit. And now I'm going to edit these buttons that we have over here. So maybe I want to change my name to Jane D Caterer. So I'm just going to add a D Caterer. And then you can uh, lengthen your description, obviously. I would say make it a bit more precise and concise. Have it be more wordy and more appealing than the standard description provided by Google. Name letters. And then you can have your summary header. So you can see the text I just added over here. Home-based Italian cuisine by Old Mama Jane. And then you're going to add your summary header. So what you're going to do is add some more details. Fresh food to your table every day. Now you're going to add your summary body. So everything about your business, the products that you are providing, the services that you are providing, you're going to add that over here. So once you have added your body, you're just going to move on and you're going to save it. So now we have edited our, you know, changes and... Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add our images. So this header photo is obviously just a blank piece of wood and you don't want to make your website look like that. So we're going to edit our header photo. Now, we're going to select a photo from our computer and you can find a lot of free images. But if you are running a business, you probably do have some images already. I'm just going to open this and add it as my header. I hope this is the correct image. So you want to make sure that the header photo that you add is something that is really appealing that, you know, pulls your customer in. So you don't want your customer to look at your header page and just be like, well, whatever. It just looks so boring. You want it to be appealing. You want it to be interesting and you want it to be very colorful. So make sure it's not black and white that will steer away your customers. Unless that is your brand aesthetic, then definitely go for it. Now I'm going to scroll down and I am going to add images over here. So more of my work or menu or prices, all of that stuff is going to be added in this area. Let's just add these. Now you can see we've added some photos and I would recommend that you add your menus, your pricing list if you're offering like specific services. So 
For example, if you're running a salon, you might want to list the prices of mani pedis, of facials, of haircuts, blowouts, and all that basic stuff on your Google website that will make your customers feel a lot more comfortable and a lot better at, you know, preparing themselves for the amount of money that they will be paying. So it won't startle them at all. Now you're going to add your phone number or address over here and then you're also going to add your business hours. So this page will drag you back to the info page on Google My Business and from here you're going to add your hours. So let's just say we're open at... We open at 9 p.m., 9 p.m. every day. So you're going to add your timings and if they vary with the day, so maybe on Saturdays or Sundays, you don't open at the standard timing, you can change that. So maybe we open at 12 on Saturdays and then you're going to add your closing time. So 1 a.m. And then you can also add a separate timing. So maybe on Mondays, you close at 1 a.m. and then you maybe reopen at five before the you know business rush kicks in and so you're gonna add those hours as well if you want to have like two separate shifts maybe your shop closes during lunch time maybe your shop closes during dinner time so if there are any kinds of you know separated work hours that you have you can edit that over here and add them from here so you can do that and now i'm just gonna add all of my hours over here I'm not being precise guys, don't judge me. Now we've applied this. Now we're gonna go back to our website. And if you scroll down over here, you can see our business hours have been listed. So just like that, you have created your website. Now you can also create posts. So and this is gonna like add some information that you might want to give your customers like related to covid related to anything that's new related to different offers that you're providing at the time or any kind of events so you can add all of that in your posts so let's just say vaccination is mandatory so this will not show up on your google maps or google search because posts are always shown once your website is actually created and it, they will be shown only on your website you don't have to worry about that so you can add any offers so let's just say we're offering 10 percent discount on wednesdays and then you can add the start date of this offer to when this offer will expire so maybe this offer is going to expire by the end of this month and now you're also going to add anything that is new, anything else you might want to add. So bookings, online orders, buying, learning more or signing up to your service or website, you can add that from here. And then if there are any special events, you can also add them from here. So we're just gonna create this post and now we're gonna go back to our website. Now you can see our website has like a very nice design. It's clean, it's simple, and you can see our post that we created 10% discount on Wednesdays vaccination is mandatory the date of the event or discount that has all been added over here so this is how easy it is to create your website now if you just click on more you can see publish now tips for getting customers and your language of your site so if you want to make your website in some other language you can also do that but I would recommend you keep it in English because it's going to be the most readable and easy to access if it's in English. Now, you're just going to click on publish now and you're on the site. So, view site and here we have it. Our website using Google Sites or My Business Google Sites has been created. It's free. You didn't have to pay for hosting and you have a very clean name for your website as well. That is something I emphasize because the names that you're going to get with your website using My Business on Google are very nice. They're simple. They don't have, you know, wordpress.com, godaddy.com or all of those, you know, foolish little words in them that other website developers do add if you create your website using their platform. Now you can see all of the stuff we added. It's a nice website. It's simple, our business ours. Everything that needs to be said is conveyed in this website. It's not gonna take you 50 hours to develop this website. You, you don't need any coding experience and it's for free. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and now you're able to build your website for your business and i'll catch you guys in the next video